Right, Boris Johnson has announced that potentially he's looking at 95% mortgages uh, to come back into the market. I'm not sure whether he knows that 95% mortgages it was not long ago they were actually in the market and there were a number of lenders and in fact government backed schemes at 95% mortgages but a man of his means and a man of his wealth probably doesn't even know that um, so in this video we're going to really talk about 95% uh, mortgages the history of the 95% mortgages certainly in the recent years and what it will mean going forward my name is Pai Mazadi and I'm a director at Niche Advice who are authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Enjoy this video, guys. Thank you so much. Hi, it's Pime here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. First of all, we've hit the 2,000 subscriber mark, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for every single person that's subscribed, that's commented, that's shared, and obviously hit the, uh, they've hit the bell icon. So really, really do appreciate it. All right, 2,000 is not a big, big number in the big scheme of YouTube with millions and millions of hits. Put it in perspective, there's a guy out there um, I saw the other day who's had 12 million views um, because he was eating spaghetti so 12 million people including me now have watched his video literally the sounds he makes and how he eats spaghetti so um, uh, that sort of puts the the new life that we live in in perspective so and that's the bigger bigger population than some of the biggest cities in the world have watched this chap eat spaghetti anyway we're going off the subject here um, I thought we'll talk about this uh, Boris Johnson announcement about 95% um, mortgages and how they're potentially going to come back in and the government's going to back it and there's going to be a big push towards uh, first-time buyers essentially buying properties uh, and what do I think about it well first of all 95% mortgages is not a new concept it's not something that hasn't been there before people forget that the original help to buy when it was launched there was actually two help to buys there was help to buy one and help to buy two now help to buy one which was a 95% mortgage that could be taken out on older properties as well as new builds was there you know what we did mortgages on it so and after a little while that got scrapped and we were left with what's now the help to buy scheme which is essentially for new builds now I've been on the record to say look how to buy can be a good thing for some people however I think um, the people that have really benefited from it um, have been the developers and you only have to look at some of the house builders share prices um, before and after help to buy to see who's really pocketed the big the big gains um, yes it has given hundreds of thousands of people uh, the opportunity to purchase a property and that they potentially couldn't have done that before so look there's good things and bad things and we do live in a world whereby uh, unfortunately capitalism uh, controls uh, uh, every sort of move the governments make as well as you know uh, individuals and uh, I think you know politically it was a very good move and uh, help to buy is a very good move you know um, I just wished that um, there were some limits and some controls over um, some of the ways uh, that these properties have been sold uh, historically to clients um, and some of the techniques used to essentially to sell to sell some of the clients because we get it all the time um, it's a very different case when we deal with a how to buy case for a client and a normal case what you will find the agents are a lot more pushy there's more pressure on the clients um, too much saying will it be harder I would say harder sales techniques are being used um, by the developers whether they're um, getting them to have to speak to their brokers whether it's pushing them in terms of you know really trying to commit on on, on putting a deposit down on this plot, uh, plot. Um, I just think there are challenges and there are issues with help to buy as it stands however overall it's been a good thing for for those people that could afford it um, we will we shall see whether it's been as good in a few years time if there is a downturn because I believe um, some of those prices were over overpriced basically the developers knew that um, 
the, the, the buyers were getting a help to buy government loan, so hence they were pushing up their prices. But that's by the by. Um, going into the 95% sort of topic, I mean, look, I've done videos on this. I, I think my last video was on mortgages with 10% deposit. What we've seen after COVID um, or during COVID, and we're still during COVID, um, is a move away from higher lending. Um, and what's happened is a lot of the traditional lenders have said, no, thank you. There's too much risk there. Um, we believe the property prices may come down and we want to protect ourselves against it. Um, so they've stayed away. And what you've found is not only 90% lending, but 85% lending is under pressure. We've seen lenders like Halifax pull out of the two-year market and only do three years at 85%. We've seen other lenders only offer five-year fixes at 85%. That's someone with 15% deposit. So 85% is under pressure right now. Every almost every couple of days, we're seeing repricing. So, lenders sent us as brokers a message to say, Look, we're going to reprice our products, and you know what? It's never coming down, it's generally going up. So, uh, the lenders at high loan to value uh, they're getting too much business because of the stamp duty changes. It is a buoyant market, we have we are very busy. And what and what you'll find is those lenders who have been very competitive at high loan to value are. Um, are now being bogged down with processing issues and you know applicants losing properties and finding properties and because the margins are so tight if there's a down valuation the applicant can't buy so there's all sorts of problems with high loan to value lending um, and because of that you know we've seen probably a 90 percent deal go up by probably one one and a half percent over the last couple of months so where you could probably get a 95 90 percent mortgage under three percent now it's close to four percent with some lenders okay now bear in mind the bank of england base rate what it is um and you know that 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 tells you that one lenders are nervous two they're looking to make money they're borrowing cheap money from the government and they are making their margins so they've seen this as a big opportunity of making money however it's not just about making money it's also about risking that property risking the issues that may come uh, in the future so going back on the 95 percent uh, um, i suppose topic they've been around 95 percent mortgages have been there for a long long time okay i think where we're coming from where where the, the signals from the government is the government is going to somehow again look to back some of that risk okay because lenders are saying look in one hand you want us to be uh, cautious we don't want ourselves getting getting us off in trouble we don't want to be losing money in another hand you're encouraging us to lend to these high loan to values so if we're going to take the risk government you'll have to take some of the risk with us and that's what essentially help to buy is help to buy was the government saying right we will uh, guarantee an element of this loan um, should there be problems going forward so they are almost helping to underwrite the case and the government have seen, they're saying, look, um, right now the, the market's buoyant, but it's going to take a dip when all these sort of incentives finish, the tax intensive incentive finishes. So there's going to be a cliff edge. The government's thinking, right, we have done very, very well. It was very thought, well thought out because the market was going to um, be in trouble. And with the tax changes, they've actually pushed the market and they've actually done something, which is fantastic, really, because um, they've they've rejuvenated some of those first time buyers i read yesterday in an article that almost 85 percent of all transactions now are not having to pay stamp duty which is fantastic really so really really good points for the government and they did really really well on that point in terms of boris's uh, uh boris's sort of wish list of 95 percent mortgages i think it just comes down to how much the government's willing to underwrite underwrite risk uh, certainly the lenders if, if the government comes in and says look we will underwrite x amount of the the risk we would uh, we would guarantee some of the risk i think you will see lenders come back into it just like what the help to buy was help to buy one was so um i have seen uh i've seen some articles out there saying look you know it may not happen it might be de devils in the details and with anything boris says it's got to be devils in the detail with anything this government says to be frank it's everything's in the detail because um you know it's 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 almost you know a, a better press release until we see some of the some of the uh, detail you know it, it is just going to be there for the for the papers um 
from a housing perspective, I mean, we've had so many housing ministers come in and go, it's just a shambles. Um, the fact of the matter is we're not building enough houses, uh, affordable houses as well. Um, and I think that's just going to be, it's just going to get worse and worse. And that's why we've seen property prices go up. Um, so the developers are actually going to do quite well uh, regardless. It'll be interesting to see um, what type of clients they're looking forward. So are they looking, are they going to just pitch it at first time buyers or is it going to be a next time buyer thing? Um, it'll be interesting because at the moment with Help to Buy, um, there are some specialist lenders out there. So if you're self-employed, if you've got adverse credit, they are lenders that could help with that. It'll be interesting to see if the take up is just going to be predominantly high street lenders or whether specialist lenders can go into this 95% as well so to be able to cater for the greater sort of um, population out there not just the people that have got crisp credit reports and um, crisp credit profiles and very very good incomes because the fact of the matter is right now if you wanted to get a 90% mortgage you've got to have very good credit profile and very good income okay to be able to have that so affordability is still going to be an issue okay where help to buy is actually done quite well is because the government loan is 20 percent and essentially the clients putting five percent down the lenders from an affordability perspective are only um, working out the affordability on 75 percent loan to value yes they will do some additional affordability checks for for the loan element the government loan element because they will take it into account yes it's interest free for the first five years however there is going to be some interest paid on it so there are some affordability calculations they do behind the scenes um but what they will do essentially is um they are doing it up to 75 percent loan to value one of the challenges of dealing with high loan to value mortgages is not only the deposit but also the applicant's affordability and how affordability is worked out i'll give you an example it was historically um, lenders like barclays for example um, they would say right you could i think they've changed that now but they you know they, they used to say we you could um and we could lend up to five times income on 85 percent loan to value however if you had 90 percent loan to value they were limited to four times income so there were some differences and there are still with a lot of lenders loan to value does make a decision in terms of how much they're willing to lend i mean it, coincidentally barclays have actually reduced their affordabilities now so don't go don't go looking for five times income i don't think it's going to be there um so there's lots of questions to be asked around the scheme I welcome anything that helps the, the housing market, but we don't also want to fuel a bubble. And, and unfortunately, I think the, uh, the, the outcome of this is going to be fueling a bubble of lots of unaffordable housing. You know, the problem is, is a lot of 95% people, uh, they're at risk. There's not much equity in their, in their deal. Negative equity could be an issue going forward in the next couple of years. So, um, I'm not sure if it's it's a good idea to sort of uh, try to um, incentivize that end of the market. I think that end of the market at the moment uh, is already um, pretty buoyant. Um, what I would be doing is looking at um, uh, you know house building as an as a way of trying to um, bring this uh, bring this economy back more balanced. Um, I, I do fear you know hopefully it's just a um it, it, they will think this through properly um yeah so that's about it really in terms of uh in terms of the market itself again it's very very busy you've got to make sure guys if you are going for a mortgage at the moment um you have to uh, not just think about the mortgage and uh, the mortgage broker the lender solicitors are going to be the key factor going forward especially with this deadline coming in for the stamp duty everybody's going to want to complete on their mortgages it's vital you pick a solicitor we've now actually gone and changed the system that we use um, our solicitors now have, have got um online forms uh, set up so rather than receiving a legal pack in paper in the post you have to complete it you have to send it off everything's done online you do your ids online you put all your documents online signatures online everything's there so it is um uh, it's a lot more streamlined because we envisage there's going to be a bottleneck with all these transactions going through so i hope you found this useful guys uh, thank you very much again thanks for subscribing everybody thanks for sharing the content i re it really does mean a lot to us and please stay tuned thank you so much
The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.